Agroforestry is a combination of agricultural crops with a woody perennial component and livestock. The woody perennial component can be a tree or a shrub or bamboo. So when we say bamboo agroforestry, it is a combination of bamboo as a woody perennial component with agricultural crops and or livestock. There are three main types of agroforestry. Firstly, we have the agri civil culture. This is when we combine the woody perennial component with an agricultural crop. So for example, with ag bamboo agroforestry, we can have bamboo combined with an agricultural crop such as maize, or you can have bamboo combined with cassava or bamboo and vegetables. The second type of agroforestry system is what we call the civil pastoral. This is where we have the woody perennial components combined with um, livestock systems. So we can have bamboo raised with cattle. The third type of agroforestry system is the agro civil pastoral. So for bamboo agroforestry, we can have bamboo, maize, and um, goats. We can have bamboo, maize, and sheep. We can have bamboo, maize, and poultry. Or we can even include um, beekeeping. So you can have bamboo with, for example, cassava and beekeeping on the same piece of land. There are several models or designs of agroforestry. For example, we can have bamboo alley cropping. Here, you have the bamboo planted in rows. You can have a single row or double rows of the bamboo. The in between the rows, that's what we call the alley. In the alleyway, you have your food crops or you have your livestock. So we can also have the scatter system or what we refer to as agroforestry parkland. Here, you can have the bamboo scattered on your farmland and you have your crops or your livestock in between them. We can also have the patches. So for depending on the size of your farmland, you can have maybe a group of um, three or five clumps of bamboo in one portion. In another portion, you can have the same group. So the bamboo will occur on your farmland as patches. And in between those patches of bamboo, you have your food crops or your livestock. You can use bamboo also as windbreaks to protect your crops. You can also use them as boundary planting also to delineate your farmland. So in bamboo agroforestry, planting distances are very critical. The recommended planting distance is five by five. So you can have your bamboos planted at a five meter interval and have your food crops or your livestock. You can also use a six meter interval between your bamboos. But when you want to stay on your land for longer periods, then you would have to choose a wider planting distances between your bamboo. So you can have eight meter to 12 meters interval between your bamboo rows or your scattered bamboo. And it is very important to leave some space between your, your rows of bamboo or the bamboo plants and your crops. We can have, for example, a two meter or a three meter interval because we know the bamboo grow its canopy will grow, the roots will also grow. So you have to give it some space and also the crops and space so that they can all exist on the same land. Farmers, especially smallholder farmers, are being encouraged to take up bamboo agroforestry because we know the bamboo plant is a very versatile plant. And if you integrate it into your farming system, you stand to gain several benefits. For example, you can be assured of a sustainable flow of income. You can also harvest your bamboo combs and sell to artisans or those who make handicrafts. Farmer field schools are very important in bamboo agroforestry. Here we can have the farmers or farmer groups being brought together for example, on a bamboo agroforestry demonstration farm to learn things for themselves practically. Several topics can be covered. For example, the farmers can be taken through the different agroforestry models or for example, they can be taken through how to raise bamboo seedlings or how to manage a bamboo nursery. During such periods, 
the farmers practically learn from things they see in their demonstration farms. And after they go to their communities, they can serve as trainers from their other farmers who didn't have the opportunity to partake in the farmer field schools. They can also come to their farmlands to see what they have done from, with the knowledge they have gained. Bamboo agroforestry can offer immense benefits to smallholder farmers.